Dear chess friends, welcome to you out of chess channel and welcome to the absolutely stunning tactical game played by the latest version of Stockfish by the powerful Stockfish 16. Today we'll see the fish battling it out with the black pieces in the closed ceiling against another top engine Kaisa and this game is so dirty, this game is so brutal, it's so disgusting how Stockfish will sacrifice so many pieces all over the board and especially with the black pieces I think it's very hard to find even a great tactical game by any engines because uh, basically when the engines are playing with the black pieces they're trying to defend the position in the first place and then maybe later they can perform maybe wilder tactics but this game is from the beginning a sharp sharp tactical battle with many great piece sacrifices so pay good attention put your seat belts on and enjoy in the spectacular battle between Kaisa and Stockfish in the closed ceiling so let's start with the game with the white pieces the Kaisa engine open with move e4 we have c5 by, this, uh, by Stockfish the Sicilian knight to c3 closed setup knight to c6 and now Bishop to b5 is of course Black's idea to mess up your pawn structure by playing Bishop takes c6 trades of course d takes c6 or d takes c6 a double pawn structure on the c file. Knight to d4, Stockfish is not allowing that, hits the Bishop on b5, Kaisa retreats with Bishop to c4, we have a6, a preparation to compete immediately against the Bishop on c4 with ideas then afterwards also e6, d5 are good methods to counterplay this Bishop's activity. After move a6 we have uh, uh, d3 e6 knight to e2 we have b5 hitting the bishop bishop to b3 and now knight to c6 played by stockfish retreating keeping the options uh, maybe also knight takes b3 could be a possibility but after a takes b3 the downside is that uh, there are tactical opportunities on the a file so black could have a decent attack on the a file for sure after move bishop to b3 we have knight to c6 as said by stockfish 16 we have kingside casting and now knight to f6 preparing now to move d5 and now we're already in a theoretical novelty now after move knight to g3 here that Ka Kaisa played there are not many games that I see in the database in which bishop to e7 has been played also d5 uh, so these are also decent methods for black but Stockfish introduces to us here a beautiful beautiful theoretical novelty plays now a really a wild spectacular line uh, with the move h5 this is the way they go because whenever the knights are on g3 or maybe if the knight is on b3 you can use a flank attack in order to create, uh, create many spaces uh, like in this particular position by Stockfish h5 with the preparation of course to play immediately h4 then maybe even h3 splitting somehow the pawn chain weaken uh, the pawn structure in front of white king and then uh, when something is weakened then can of course uh, we can attack it further so h5 very really, very really interesting choice in the game h3 played by Kaisa not too long of course as we said h4 h3 so that's why Stockfish pushes the pawn further than h4 Kaisa retreats now uh, to e2 and Stockfish now finally hit the center with the move d5 which is I think a good choice when um the knight wasn't on, on the e file then d5 would be very risky because if the e file opens then there are opportunities with rook to e1 hitting the king on e8 now when the knight is standing in the way of a potential rook activity on the e file now of course stockfish uses this moment and breaks and enters and opens now the position which is also crazy still with the king in the center stockfish with the black pieces is trying to open the position really really wild stuff after move d5 we have e takes d5 e takes d5 a4 uh, competing now here on the queen side trying to provoke some weaknesses here because this is I think a decent choice by Kaisa because it's very hard for black now to secure the king you have already advanced your pawns here so you have weakened the pawn structure here it's very hard for you then to castle on the king side you have also advanced your pawns on the queen side so it's very hard to castle on the queen side the king is stuck in the center so what is stockfish going to do in this particular position stockfish closes first of all uh, the position with the move b4 hits the knight knight retreats bishop to d6 prepares of course a very nice activity for the bishop and now after move bishop to g5 now the fun starts now <laughs> paying good attention what the fish is doing here really amazing a brutal attack attack you witness now stockfish are, starts the tactical sequence with the amazing bishop takes h3 really really wild stuff look at this if you play for instance bishop to f6 this wasn't played in the game but i was curious what would happen of course if bishop to f6 would have been played by the kaisa engine then of course queen to f6 and now if you play g takes h3 then queen to f3 blocks out uh the potential 
f4 move this move f4 would be a nice defensive approach would simply lock out of course uh the bishop's activity and i think this is game over uh, here for for uh white rook to h6 rook to g6 queen to h3 whatever you do i think it's a devastating game here for white for sure so this is not working so after move bishop to h3 kaisa accepts now the challenge with g takes h3 queen to d7 attacks of course the pawn on h3 and now again if you try bishop to f6 even in this position uh this wasn't also played in the game but uh, again i was curious what, what would have happened basically when you're getting attacked your basic goal is somehow to defend its position and you can defend its position many times by trading off more pieces by simplifying the position but it's still not working after g takes f6 you could maybe even try this idea f4 but again queen to h3 with rook to g8 is, is going to happen look at this even if you play something like bishop to d5 including maybe a new defender into the game this bishop would be very useful of course around the square g2 actually there is this beautiful move king to d7 simply connecting the rooks and now include of course this other rook into the game you can my maybe try to escape here but look at this rook to e8 simply cuts off now uh the king's activity to escape you could maybe try bishop to e4 to somehow even lock now uh, the e file but look at this nothing is working we deliver a check now even knight to d4 uh you're trying maybe to kick away the knight from the center now queen to e2 uh queen takes e2 knight to e2 and for instance f5 is a possibility this is an, a much much better end game for black for sure black has gained some material again uh has gained some pawns and has now this dangerous pass pawn on the h file which is of course supported uh by the rook activity and white is also lacking in development so it's a one-way ticket of course in black's favor so you see after move queen to d7 you cannot still play bishop to f6 the attack um that that you get here on the king side it's still devastating although in some lines maybe you could include as i said uh, simply the bishop on d5 into the defense but nothing is working so far for white in the game that's why king to g2 protecting now uh, the pawn on h3 we have queen to f5 hitting the bishop bishop retreats queen side casting now by stockfish 16 and after knight to d2 which of course makes sense getting a new defender into the game now another stunner now another brilliant sharp move by the stockfish 16 engine stockfish plays the amazing rook to h6 getting in front of the bishop but this bishop we have to say it is a good defensive piece and stockfish is hoping to get basically the key defender traded off for the rook and of course open somehow the g file endanger the king on the g file and again let's see if white ignores this if white maybe plays rook to g1 which seems to me as a good choice to maybe even somehow try to escape with your king on f1 and then on e1 to get it somehow out of the attack but actually it's not working this wasn't playing the game in the game bishop to h6 but this is also a line uh, that should be discussed for sure now after move rook to g1 it doesn't get better you get simply this rook check the rook to g6 you have to escape queen to h3 you could maybe escape to e1 but now this other rook is again coming into the game again the e file attack bothers now many many times now a white in the continuation of the game you could maybe try to simplify the game again by rook playing rook takes g6 trading off rooks and now maybe even knight to f1 it seemed to me like a logical choice to get uh simply the knight into the defense and again trying to escape maybe with king to uh, d1 king to uh, king to d2 king to c1 maybe even try to escape somewhere here on a2 but this is not working because of queen to g2 and now if you escape uh still the a pawn is rolling that's also the issue that should that we should not forget um black speed uh, pardon me white pieces are a little bit cramped here they're paralyzed they cannot move and oh i don't know maybe knight to g4 if uh, d4 here is an opportunity h3 h2 h1 a potential promotion could also work so many many again tactical opportunities uh here for black so in my opinion game over uh here for for for, for white for sure so after move rook to h6 we have bishop to h6 that was played by the kaisa engine g takes h6 of course now liberates now the g file the king is still endangered and that's why rook to h1 kaisa is trying after potential rook to g8 move to defend the pawn on h3 which makes really sense but now the rook gets cornered and the rook now on h1 and also the rook on a1 are now out of game and stockfish managed to paralyze both of these pieces on the edge of the board basically on the starting squares which is really really crazy now stockfish plays what is in my opinion even the most beautiful move uh, of the whole game 
this move is so brutal, is so sharp, it's so in-depth uh, calculated here by Stockfish 16. Stockfish plays now the amazing C4. And now it becomes, I think, the crucial and critical moment of the game. What should White do here? How uh, should White defend his position? For instance, let's see again possibilities. In the game, King Chaff 1 was played, but let's see what happens if you play D takes C4. The problem after D takes C4 is that you don't have control anymore of the E4 square. Now, after Knight to E4, many, many things could have been played now by uh, by White. Let's see possible solutions. For instance, if you play Rook to F1, trying to protect the pawn on F2, then the issue is then Rook to G1, uh, Rook to G8, hitting the King, and now you have to escape. Queen to H3 is simply winning the game. So, let's see other possibilities. After move uh, Knight to E4, you could, of course, play Queen to, uh, queen to E1, uh, protecting, of course, the Knight on um, on D2, and also protecting the F2 square, but still it's not working. You get this dangerous check, you have to step back, and now Knight to G3 is winning the game. You have to take uh, Knight takes G3, H takes G3, and now, for instance, you include, finally, uh, this uh, rook into the game, then queen to h3 is going to happen. You have to step back. We include now the rook into the game. You lose the queen and it's game over. So you see, nothing is working. Let's go back. Instead of this move, obviously, uh, knight to e4, you can, of course, play knight to e4. But still, look at this. Queen to e4, you have to now play f3. Again, this rook is coming into the game. Even if you try to escape here on the dark square, then bishop to c5 is going to happen. So uh, black keeps the attacking flow here. Really, really wild stuff. And now even if you escape, then queen to f3 hits the rook. And now f move rook to f1. Look how brutal this line would have been. As I said, this wasn't playing the game, but this is uh, something that I analyzed at home. Then rook to g1 is winning the game on spot. Whatever you do, you play rook to g1, uh, then bishop to f2 is simply winning the game. You get a checkmate with a beautiful activity, even if you escape here on f1, and then uh, here bishop to g3 uh, wins the game on spot. Really, really wild stuff. So even if you take out now with the knight here, then uh, here the issue is this uh, check by... Uh, by the queen, if you escape here to e2, then queen to e3 is again a checkmate. If you cover uh, here with the rook, then queen takes f2 is again a beautiful and brutal checkmate by black's activity. Really, really amazing stuff. So after move d takes c4, as we said, um, that um, you could have played knight to e4 is the main issue getting occupied here. Uh, the square gets occupied by black's activity. So it's, as I said, not working here for for white. So after move c4, you could of course also maybe escape to a2, but it's um, then again bad continuation. Rook to g8, again the king has to step back, and again this motif. Knight to h5 with the preparation to hit uh, the g3 square, and um, as I said, there is the weakness on f2, uh, also there is the tension, bishop will come into the game. Many, many, again, tactical opportunities for black. So in the game, after move c4, king to f1 was now uh, Carissa's continuation, Stockfish continues uh, to simply take out the bishop on b3, we have now knight to g1 and now rook to g8, including now again this rook into the game, and now we have a knight to f3. If you play here queen to f3 in order to compete here, then the problem is now the queen gets here on g6 and you get simply attack on the g file. There are simply too, there's simply too much pressure uh, here on the g file. You can escape again with your king. The knight will be paralyzed. The rook is paralyzed. Then again with some methods, I don't know, knight to h5, knight to g3, uh, opening up the position. So the attack gets again simply too, too, too much uh, devastating here for white. So after move rook to g8 here, knight to f3 was played by Kaisa trying to connect uh, here simply uh, the pieces on uh, on the king side trying to keep everything compact everything glued together but now again this idea knight to h5 uh, simply with the preparation to hit the square g3 somehow to open up the f file we have a rook to c1 Kaisa um, is trying desperately now to get this other rook into the game and Stockfish plays a beautiful move king to b7 gets out of the attack uh, out of the potential attack on the C file, because if that happens, uh, then probably I think white would even sacrifice the rook for the knight on C6, simplifying the game somehow. Uh, but Stockfish needs, of course, it's knight um, in the game, so Stockfish wants to keep uh, many pieces on the board 
when you are on the attacking side you don't want to trade anything so here after uh, king to b7 we have c takes b3 but now stockfish as i said simply includes now this knight into the game the problem is now knight to e5 cannot be played because here knight to g3 uh, again wins the game on spot you have to step back we take out the rook uh, we take out the knight so uh, it's game over uh, here for white for sure. So after move knight to e5, that's why rook to c2, knight takes d3, played by uh, Stockfish. We have here uh, a5. Even if you play something like rook to d2 here, even if you try maybe to attack uh, the knight, then the winning idea is this one. Knight takes f2. This would have been really, really a beautiful continuation. This wasn't again played in the game, but I wanted to see what would have happened if um kaisa would have defended his position like this after move knight to f2 then king to f2 knight to g3 again very very devastating you have to step back now bishop to c5 is coming into the game so it's simply game over you can cover maybe uh, with the rook but now look at this we keep the attacking flow with the move queen to f4 you're playing queen to d3 now the queen gets behind you're trying maybe to escape but now look at this we take you take then the rook is coming the uh, again we continue the uh, pressure against the rook on d4 you're trying to escape queen takes b2 so very very a pervert pervert line here by stoffer 16. after move knight to f2 you can of course play rook to f2 here but then again this whole concept with knight to g3 is working uh you're getting decoy to the e file if you get of course to the g file then uh, uh you get attacked by the rook so it's not working so after move knight to d3 that's why a5 played by kaisa now rook to um uh, rook to e8 played by stockfish 16 kaisa tried now to compete on the e file with the rook and stockfish searches for opportunities now to play uh, rook to c1 of course trapping the queen on d1 delivering an annoying check so that's why kaisa defends again the c file but now after this move uh, Ka the kaisa engine uh, immediately resigned after move knight you have to uh, here it was game over for black let's see possible continuations if you play of course king to f2 then the problem is of course you get hit like this uh, rook takes uh, c2 is winning the game here for black if you play of course here rook takes f2 if you get out of this mess again this whole idea with knight to g3 is working if you get to the g file then again rook to g8 you're trying maybe to escape we take you step back again and you check we simply uh, play another check you get decoy to the e file we can also always take out also the rook on h1 so simply too many too many tactical opportunities here for white for instance you play king to d2 if you try to escape then you get even a checkmate uh, with the move bishop to f4 so you can never really never escape uh, towards the queen side which is a very bad thing for white so black's pieces are simply so beautiful and they're playing such a beautiful harmony that you cannot do anything but white pieces got cramped really really a spectacular brutal attack here played by stockfish 16 so Pooh, really really amazing really amazing attack by uh, by the stockfish engine i'm not sure if i've ever seen such a brutal tactical game with so many dirty ideas with so many dirty traps of course there were some other possible sidelines that's not the point of this game but uh, you see uh, stockfish keeps simply the attacking flow when stockfish has its attack you cannot get out of it you cannot escape from this uh, from this attacks really really one of the best chess games that i've seen for sure played by the latest version of stockfish by the powerful stockfish 16. so okay i hope that you enjoyed this game if you want to see more epic brutal chess games like this check out our come the chess games play by computer series here's the link of our playlist and if you like this content don't forget to subscribe to my channel see you soon with some more videos and what do we say chess is the best of course